welcome back to my channel. I hope that you and your loved ones are safe, healthy, and doing well during this time. And if you're new here, my name is Emily, and I love to make videos about fashion, jewelry, a lifestyle, and anything magical. In today's video, I'm really excited because Elm Beads, they sent me this kind of like, it's a fun little tester idea for Ohm Studio. And spoiler alert, you can actually create your own special Ohm Frankenstein, Ohm Frankenstein design with the Ohm Studio and it is going to be releasing. So I am gonna give more details about that in later in this video because what's interesting about this is this took forever for it to get mailed to me. So this was a tester that was sent for me to kind of like take a look at, play around with, and kind of give them feedback on what I think of it and everything. But it took so many months for it to get here. Here, um, our shipping actually in Canada has been so slow on some things, and it just seems that anything coming through the border just seems to take so long. So I waited really patiently, and this finally came in. I've untaped the top so it's easy for me to open on camera, but I haven't looked inside yet, so I'm really excited. And then this was a separate piece that shipped, which is gonna be kind of carving out the wax and everything, which is right here. So basically in this video, I'm gonna be kind of taking a look inside with you guys, and then I'm also gonna be including like later on, cause I'm not gonna film that today probably, but later on me actually making my own wax, own bead and getting the whole like process of it getting designed and, and everything like that. So I'm really excited. Ella is very excited. She's recovering from a surgery actually. So. She's a little bit more tired and relaxed. That's why we have a little bed here. She's actually been pretty good, so I don't have the cone on her right now because I think she needs a break from it. But anyway, you guys, make sure to grab a delicious cup of tea and let's get started. Okay, so here's a little look at the box. And I know for the actual home studio, the packaging and everything is gonna look very different. This is just a tester that I got sent, so I can kind of take a look at it. So we have some nice ohm packaging here. Oh my gosh, look at that, that looks so cute. So at ohm, we believe there is an artist within everyone and you can discover yours through the art of bead making. Then this has ohm studio on here and then warning, Ohm wax modeling can lead to an extreme bead addiction, imagination burst, and an unexplainable urge to create things. Proceed with caution. Also, don't burn yourself. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let's, um, how do I, you guys can see? Let's open this up and see what is inside. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's really well packaged with the bubble wrap. Oh my goodness, I'm like excited, nervous to like, make my own because I'm gonna be using this machine, if you guys can see, to like literally carve and like, they had, they sent me like some wax models that I can take them apart, which is why it's called Omkenstein, and I can kind of piece them together. And this is, is such a cool idea. So Jenny, if you're watching, this is such an amazing idea, and I'm like freaking out inside that I get to do this. I never thought in a million years that I could have this opportunity to literally like play with beads in a completely different way and like taking wings or details off certain parts and putting them onto something else and creating my own like custom design I think is such a, like a brilliant idea. So thank you so much Ohm, I'm really excited and cannot believe this. I'm really curious to see what wax pieces they sent to me. I know Nicole, my Pretty Charm Life, she has, well she's been like texting me and sending me really awesome pictures but she's also shared on her Instagram and I think on her, one of her YouTube videos, um, some of the pieces her and Presley created, and it just made me like 10 times more excited to open this. So I've noticed that they sent me an own play tray in this, oh my gosh, look at that amazing pink magenta color. Do I get to keep this? This is so cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, play time. Oh, and look, they gave me, oh my gosh, they gave me, oh, Awesome stuff. Okay, maybe let me read this first. So, Ohm Studio to go. Welcome to the studio. It's time to play. This is a vast world of unlimited possibilities. Have you ever wondered about how your favorite beads come to life? Have you ever dreamed of making a bead? With Ohm Studio to go, you can take part in the magical artistic process of lost wax jewelry design. At Ohm, we believe there is an artist within everyone and you can discover yours through the process of bead making. So what's in the box? We have wax models to get started, 
wax pen and machine, own play tray, instruction materials, and tools. How to get started. Clear a well-ventilated working zone. Good light, natural or artificial, is a must. Eye protection is advised. Reading magnifying glasses are perfect. Check cord links to reduce snagging, reduce distractions, plug in and start playing. So we have the wax pen machine, which is right over here. Ohm utilizes the wa lost wax method in creating beads. In this program, you'll be working with wax to create models that later are lost in the casting process and replaced with our favorite metal, in this case, silver. The wax pen heats up and allows you to melt and manipulate wax with precision. Because you'll be working with pre-made parts, the first thing you will learn how to stick the parts together. This learn how to use hot glue to glue pieces together to create something entirely unique. Are you plugged in? And then my husband just entered in the room so you might have heard him opening the door there. Then we also have the wax melting temperatures. So we have some information about the temperature kind of guide. So we have the preferred melting temperature. We have the wax work tip, so slow down, take your time. Perfection isn't everything, have fun. And then there's some troubleshooting stuff. So, oh my goodness, there's so much to look at with this. I'm so excited. So we have practice two at a leaf. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. We have practice three, make a face mask. And then we have practice one, dot the dot. So I'm, I'm so excited. I'm glad they included some practice stuff so this will help me figure out kind of what I'm doing before I actually dive in deep. This is really cool. So let's look at the playtime. I'm really curious to see what they sent me. This is exciting. Oh my goodness, I got a little ducky. So cute. <gasps> we have a little flower crown. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. And these are little floral like gears. So cool. And then we have another little gear. Ooh, and then we have one of the word blocks, which is up here. I'm really excited about the flower crown though. Like, I love it. So cool. And then this is the add a leaf. So let's look inside. What's the add a leaf? This sounds really cool. I'm gonna open it up and see. Oh, it's a little apple. Oh my goodness, and there's a little leaf. So cool. So here we have a little apple. This looks so amazing. And then this is a tiny little leaf that I'm gonna be adding on here. All right, you guys, I'm really excited. I cannot wait to start practicing and like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I am gonna be filming this. Um, I'm not exactly sure what my filming is gonna look like for it, but I'm probably gonna do voiceover for that. So let's head into the voiceover component so you guys can see what I do and how I find this process. I decided to start off with practice one because it was gonna introduce me to really working with wax, what it was like and getting a real sense for it. So I got everything hooked up. I looked at the different tools and kind of what I thought I should use first. I also set the machine to the designated time that was recommended and I got really excited. So once that was all set up, I was ready to get started. I also messaged Nicole, my dear bestie, um, just with some tips and some advice on like, you know, any tips she had for this. I was also kind of confused at which tool I had to put on at first. So she gave me some good insight and tips and definitely recommend checking out her video. She did do a newer video with Ohm Studio to go. So if you do want to check that out, I'll leave a link up above the screen right now for you guys to see it. I'm really happy that Ohm included a bunch of practice runs with this because it really did help me get a good sense of playing with wax and working with wax. The next practice was putting a leaf on top of the apple. And this was actually harder than I thought it would be at first because I really wanted, you have to be very delicate with it, but practice makes perfect and I was able to get the leaf on and I was really happy with how it ended up looking. I also decided to play around a little bit more with the wax to create some other additional shapes with it. So I kind of played around with that a little bit, which you're seeing here on the screen right now. Then I also went back to the apple and I decided to get a little bit more creative with it. Since the apple was my favorite piece besides the little flowers that came in the kit, I decided I really wanted to customize this and make my own Ohm Frankenstein, Oakenstein little look to it. So. I added a couple different flower details on here. And as I was doing that, I got inspired some more and I decided to make like a strawberry apple inspired kind of bead. So it's just kind of fun. 
played around with it and it was a good testing bead to kind of really get a sense of working with all different shapes and sizes and different things. I worked on this apple strawberry idea throughout this video and throughout this design session. So you will see me updating this apple throughout the video. So here you'll see me playing around with different flowers on top of the apple. And I was really liking how it looked. I also kind of created some own little details on the apple itself once I got kind of the hang of the pen tool a little bit more. So really liked how this looked. Decided to take a break from the apple and I moved up over to the ducky. I took off his horns and I decided to use the gears that Ohm included on top of the duck as like a cool little like hat or a crown. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what to do with some of the pieces just because they're not really my style and it really made me have to think creatively of what I wanted to do with them. So I used the gears and as you can see, I was kind of playing around with positioning of where I wanted to put it on top of the little duck. So I ended up kind of putting them one on the top and one near kind of off, kind of off tilted off side a little bit. And actually I really liked how it looked and I thought it looked kind of cute. After I was done with the ducky, I tried to play around with some of the other beads, but I just wasn't feeling inspired. So I ended up going back to the apple, of course. And this is, I think, where I ended up really creating the strawberry <laughs> idea for it. So here you'll see me playing around, melting some different wax and really giving it kind of like a cool texture and detail. I also went back to here and took some pieces off to play around with as well on top of the apple. The Ohm Studio To Go kit is available now. It is a pilot program and there's a variety of different beads to play around with inside the kit. If you do want to find out how to order yours or more information about it, you can head on over to the Ohm Together website. I will leave a link down below in my description bar with links and everything and a little bit more information too if you'd like to know more. Decided to make the face mask glass because to be honest, it looked kind of intimidating. I'm like, it's so thin and I just wasn't sure. So I, I was happy I actually did play ahead with some of the other things first before I worked on this. I decided to make mine bigger because I thought it would be kind of funny to put it on a stuffed animal or something. So I kept it as a slightly bigger size. And I think if I were to make this again, I think it would look like a little bit better, but I'm actually pretty happy with how well I did because I really didn't think it would look like a face mask at the end. And I was pretty happy with how I did and it wasn't actually too hard. So anyway, here on the screen, you're seeing my finished results of some of my Omkenstein creations. So this is like the strawberry apple with the flowers. <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. Then I have my little ducky with the gears. I have to think of a cool name for him. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know down below. Maybe like geared up duck or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> Help me out guys. <laughs> What do you guys think of the Ohm Studio To Go pilot program? And are you participating in the August box? Because it looks like they have such cool beads. Ohm Beads did a YouTube video, which I'll link up above the screen right here, of what's included. And I am so excited. It looks like so much fun. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I would love to know what you think of Ohm Studio. What do you think? Are you going to make your own custom bead? I'd love to know. Please let me know down below. Anyway, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful, magical rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.